EA Sports. It's in the game. He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah. And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Let's <laughs> go. 
Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. Ew. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years, are you gonna let him make it 10? That's right, that's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid. So we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the sensational Cuban Joel Savone. You know, I heard a lot of experts ringside talking about the lack of experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion, and you have to wonder and ask yourself, will the nerves of Andre Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled against such a worthy opponent? Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. He is not in good shape. He could be on. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down for the first time tonight. Bishop beats the count, but how does he look to you? He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. What a big shot. Bishop finds himself on the floor again. Can Andre find a way to gather himself and continue on? So the Cuban sensation, Joel Savone, does it again. A decade in the record books as a gold medalist at these world. One love, one game, one desire, one flame, one bonfire, let it burn higher. I never show signs of fatigue or turn tired, because I'm the definition of tragedy, turn triumph. This David ain't Goliath, I made it to the eye of the storm, feeling torn like they fed me to the lion. Before my time start to wind down like the Mayans, I show them how I got to grind down like a science. It sounds like a riot on hush, it's so quiet, the only thing I hear is my heart. We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Mike Tyson's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. A 
Muhammad Ali is coming down to the ring, and you can tell with that zip in his step that he plans on this one being a spectacular evening for him. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Blocks the headshot. Good return fire that time. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right to the belt line. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Good work defensively by Mike Tyson. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Ali's really impressing us here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent, but sometimes confidence can also be an enemy in this game. Yeah, you could get a little bit of overconfident you could get careless you know you could forget where you were earlier or forget what you knew when you were coming into the ring things that you had to understand as nice far work, as defensive Good liabilities job, he has to remember that all right you look great just don't get crazy here we go round two is underway with a left hand. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Yeah. Hook off the jab. Use the ring. Use the ring. Double jab to the head. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Oh, hands up, hands up. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Come on. That straight right on.
unable to connect. Good doubling up of the jab by Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson is able to oh, land a nice shit. clean left hand. Up top. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in. You want to stay on the outside? Use that jab. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Look, he stands straight up. Move that body. He moved that body. And round number three is underway. What a nice combo by Muhammad Ali. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Solid right by Muhammad Ali. Defense, more defense. Off the target by Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Halfway through this round. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Teddy, the early life of Mike Tyson has been well documented, but you were the guy who first taught him how to really formally box. What do you remember of those early days of getting Tyson into the ring? I remember he was 12 years old. He was 190 pounds, and there was no fat. And I wanted to see a birth certificate to know if this was really true. He had physical tools we had not seen before. Tyson stumbled back. He just got hurt. Targeting that hook upstairs by Muhammad Ali. And round three comes to an end. You need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. You need to throw more punches. The body. Bang the body. Hit that body. I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Much better. The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy scorecard three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be in tight. Ali's doing a very nice job here. I like how he's able to land some shots at longer range. It keeps him away from his opponent's power, but yet allows him to control things. Well, first of all, he understands how to do those things. He's been trained in the gym, but he also recognizes what his opponent can't do. Tyson's in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this guy? 
well timed by Muhammad Ali. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Tyson's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid nice. effort by Muhammad nice. Ali. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep Good double jab by Muhammad Ali. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Keep working the body. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Good work toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomachache at the end. Somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end. He reaches in and let that right hand go, right? Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Muhammad Ali is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Good jabs by Muhammad Ali. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He scored well after being hit himself. Good combination to the head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Now he gives a left. <laughs> Targeting that head with the combination punch. <laughs> he took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. You're not Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. You gotta keep your distance, all right? We got it. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take these shots, understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. And that round is underway, and we are halfway through the scheduled slate. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities, because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Ooh. 
Tyson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Just like that. Just like that. Come on, kids, focus. Relax, relax. Find fundamentals, good counterpunch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Ali stunned and staggered. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes. the spirit of Muhammad Ali. You're not going to get rid of him that fast. Ali looking to make a comeback after being knocked down. You see him holding on. Muhammad Ali's punch didn't come close. Tyson's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Yeah, it is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Keep working the body. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Look, you stand do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your hand hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. A new round underway here. Muhammad Ali is hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways I'd tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of the fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. And he just holds on there. No need to be on the inside. Take it yourself. Ten seconds to go in this round. Round seven comes to an end. But he misses with a punch. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take these shots, okay? You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punch. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? 
Keep your range. Jam, jam, right, okay? Take a deep breath. Here we are at the start of the eighth round, and an interesting situation he's got himself in here. Tyson's scored a knockdown. That's for sure. But what is for sure also is that he's losing on your scorecard. Yeah, well, the good news, there's good news and bad news. The good news is he knows he can hurt him. He's hurt him already. The bad news is ever since he's hurt him, he's just been waiting for it to happen by itself. He forgot. Doesn't work that way, though. No, it doesn't. He forgot how it happened, how he set it up. Way to block there. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Tyson's got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands tight against his body. But, Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe, you know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here, I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. Muhammad Ali's got a way of just getting away from that punch. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. End of that round, and what I take away from it is that he has a great grasp of what the judges look for. Good, clean, effective punching has him in control. Well, that's what happens when you have a good amateur background where you're real calm. That's your office. You're able to see things. You don't see one way to hit a guy, not even two. You see four or five ways to hit a guy with the same punch. And he's showing that right now. now we're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight you get the sense this one may not go the distance great work offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice block by Muhammad Ali. Finish with the hook. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. And that's the end of round nine. 
Ali's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have him ahead on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. You're fighting this fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. You don't need to get excited. You came to win. You don't need that. Throw that away. This is round number 10, scheduled for 10. <laughs> Doubling up the jab by Muhammad Ali. With a left hand. Comes right back with a shot of his own. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Stay away from the inside. That's it. That's it. Halfway through this tenth and final round. Good block by Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali is putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter, and the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's wanted. Seconds of the fight. <sighs> this was an easy fight to score from start to finish after well, that effort. Well, you never know in this sport with the scoring, but this is one you know. We're going to know in moments here as we send it up to the ring. The greatest of all time, Mohamed. Ali's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost a perfect game. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights. <laughs>